Hey guys, I just thought I'd interrupt this video for just a little bit, just to explain one little thing, because I know I'm gonna get some questions on it, which makes sense, because if I saw this too, I would probably ask the same question. And that question is, why don't I have the top belt guard on my motorcycle anymore? Why did I take it off? Well, the truth is, I didn't take it off, actually. Right around mid-December, when my Harley RN883 had about 7,000 miles on it, maybe a little bit more, maybe about eight, I heard this rattling on my way to work. I'm like, what the heck is that? I, I couldn't figure it out. I was looking around while I was at a stoplight. And then I heard it on the way home from work as well. I was so frustrated by it. I thought something was seriously wrong with my bike. So spent a, a little bit of time just kind of investigating what was going on and it was because my belt guard broke. It was a clean break. There's no rust here at all. It broke right where the belt guard connects to the lower shock mounting bolt here. My hypothesis is I hit a very large pothole and while my butt and spine probably felt it at the time, I didn't realize exactly what happened until probably a day or two later. And probably what happened was it just flexed so much while I hit that pothole that it snapped. I haven't had any issues at all by not having the belt guard on here. So I have a, nearly 12,000 miles on my Harley RN883 now. So it's been a good 4,000 miles or so without the top belt guard. These belts are pretty strong in the last a lifetime. You see a lot of Harleys without upper or lower belt guards on. But even though these are pretty strong, it just takes one good rock, one good stone, or some hunk of metal on the road to fly up and slice it. So what I'd like you to do soon is go ahead and buy a new one and install it. And the only reason I haven't done it yet is because I'm a cheap bastard. A new one is 100 bucks. It's really easy to install, so it's probably something I'm gonna do prior to the Route 66 trip. I'd hate to be along Route 66 in the middle of nowhere and have something happen. Even though it's 100 bucks, it's 100 dollars for peace of mind. So that's what I'm gonna do. So hopefully this answers some questions from subscribers who have asked or thought to ask, why don't you have that top belt guard on? And you know, there's always something I forget to do with these videos, so indulge me for a moment. Hi, my name is Joe. I love talking about motorcycles, travel, and just life in general. So if you like any one of those three things, go ahead and click on that subscribe button. And click on that bell icon so you know when I upload videos just like this.
so now we have the tire installed. Everything looks pretty good. The axle is in there great. There's only two more things to do. Those two things are align the rear wheel and properly adjust the belt. 